Squad, it's time. Yep, time for us to look at some of the most fraudulent, blatant cases of shithead -initis. Flagrant displays of fuckery. Family relatives of the ever so popular Captain Shithead. That's right, a look at another hundred fakes. What is up everybody, it's Pino E here, and without any further ado, let's go. Today we start with the website Shop Hidden Dream and the name is a lie. It's a nightmare and I wish this nightmare really was hidden but it's not. But lucky for us I found it and these beautiful fashion sneakers. If you're looking for a pair they come in two colors black and blue and according to the website they are good for spring, autumn and summer but not winter. These are not good for winter. Now whenever you're shopping on websites it's always good to look at customer feedback because there's no way a ball sack like this would lie about client feedback right? And lucky for us Alan H bought a pair. Here's what Alan had to say. Worth the money. Recommend. Arrived three weeks and a week almost drove around the city. Alan, I have a feeling you're a lying douchebag. But those aren't the only feezies. They got creative and they have this Pharrell Tennis HU Yeezy collab and then this hideous pile of man what the fuck are those. But I kind of like the site. Normally you got basketball running lifestyle but not these morons. Nope they got air mesh breathable shoes, spring high shoes, walk sneaker, and fashion sneaker. Man, fuck this site. Let's look at the next piece of shit. For this next one, we gotta go to Yeezy Boost Australia, and I have no idea why they did the Aussies dirty like this. This site is the king of the Yeezys. It's like a cat dressing up in a koala suit trying to eat bamboo, or a horse pretending to be a kangaroo. This is that Australian land down under fuckery. They are horrible fakes. Everything about them is wrong. I love Australia, but I really hate them for this one. This fake ass Australia site also has these, the men's Adidas Yeezy 350 shoes light apricot black red. Okay so obviously there's no light in them, I'm not sure why anyone would lie about having light up shoes, but apricot. This is what apricot looks like. This is what apricot does not look like. Moving on. Over to ProYeezyBoost.com for our next look and they offer free shipping, free exchanges and 100% price guarantee. What the fuck they are guaranteeing is anyone's guess but you have my guarantee that you get their guarantee. And just like all the other shitheads out there selling fakes, their literacy level is low. Really low. You want this shitty pink shoe? Well here's what you need to know. Yeezy 350 Boost, the with the previous hot Yeezy 750 Boost, similar design style. Using gray black prime knit, this fucking thing is pink and white. You couldn't be further away from gray and black. Blessing of vamp woven. Boost the bottom. What the fuck is a boost the bottom? The coarse size shoelaces, bottom at black leather. There is no black leather on this shoe, you cockface. Semicircle as decoration, followed by pairs with pulling ring made of. I'm gonna stop there. This shit's hurting my head. Let's move on. Next up, we got Principal Shitnose, and he runs a fantastic website by the name nkprice.com. Now, this guy's not a complete asshole. His website does admit that he's selling replicas, so kudos to him for being honest about it. But he's still an idiot that called this pair the Nike PG1 Shining. But again, I'm going to have to forgive him for that, because even though I would never personally buy a fake, I do have to admit that this colorway is fucking dope. AJ New Shoes is that shit I don't like. We featured him before, but I had to double back for an extra serving of his complete disregard for humanity. Take these Nike Kyrie ones. The effort level put into this pair is non-existent. If you need to pause the video to look at the horrible quality, please do so, soak it in, cry if you must, but come back because there's more. Oh yeah, if you didn't notice, the box tag said these are the BHM. This pair right here, so much wrong. First off, he calls it the Air Jordan 6 1990. The model came out in 91. He calls it the retro fur, and there really isn't any fur anywhere on this pair. The shape and materials in this shoe is horrific, but the description. I'll only give you two or three sentences because I really can't read it all. Jordan certainly in style, jogging sneakers, complete Tom in various age groups, who the fuck is Tom, as well as acquire the cheapest a sport back to the inside for children and as well students. Most individuals start the company, which company, connected with running shoes. They begin to seek traditionally in relation to selling price. To understand, think through is everyone who is obtaining discounted back to the inside, you definitely are generally female poor equally just called females poor I don't know what the fuck he's talking about now this guy well this product description starts off with luckily for cheap Kevin Durant fans right off the hop he calls Katie fans cheap then he goes on to call the shoe the seven the eight and the nine again cuz I have to keep it real based on these pictures the quality ain't that bad now fuck this guy because he's still a fucking asshole but it ain't that bad 
Athletes will be honoring mothers everywhere by wearing special pink custom cleats for today's games. In this day and age when players wear one-offs almost daily, you might be interested to know that these cleats are not player exclusives that were done in Nike factories. This website is kd8easy.com. Why is he talking about the color pink when we're looking at a gold shoe? And why is he talking about cleats when trying to sell a basketball model? Stay in school, kids. PrimeAMZ.com brings us back to old school type fuckery, the good old days of fakes when the bootleggers just used to make their own models. Like these pairs of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 550 Low. So bruh, these ain't a low dog. And bruh, these ain't a 550 dog. And bruh, go fuck yourself dog. This next site is Hearsneakers.com and yo, they're both smart and stupid. Smart because they figured out the technique of stealing the shoes description from a sneaker blog. Well done and bravo on that. And stupid because, well, why the fuck is a fake Air Jordan 3 Sport Blue selling for $9,883? I really wish I didn't have to use the word fuckery so often, but it's the best word to explain this. Jordans2017.com, well, what can I say about this site? There's levels to fakes, and this guy, no, this douchebag wants $93 for these really, really bad Camel 5s. The shape is wrong, the netting is wrong, the material, which should be suede, is carpet, the Camel pattern is kind of right, but it's not 3M, and his shit doesn't stop there. He also has this pair of History of Flight 13s. The tongue is so damn bumpy you could ski on it, the leather overlays are painted cardboard, I mean, just look at how thin they are, and the comments. I'm gonna go on a limb and say Sonia Gifford and Tasha Linda aren't who they say they are. Tasha says, like the Jordan red white shoes all the time. I like this it very much. I like this it very much. I think she's a fake thought. One more before we leave this shitty ass site and never come back. We have the Air Jordan Retro 6 Maroon. This guy's a butt pirate trying to rob people $93 at a time. And what the fuck is this thing? He might want to consider chilling out with the blue dye on the outsole. He might also want to consider not being an asshole and selling these low quality fakes, but I doubt he cares. On to the next one. This site, it's bad as well, topkicks.com. When I jumped on the site, I got a chat message from them, which made me think of a new series I'm gonna start up soon. I asked them why it felt like I was back in 1992 staring at a website I connected to through a dial-up connection. I also asked why the shoes looked like they were crafted by a blind person with only three fingers on each hand and no thumb, but I realized they weren't gonna answer me because it was too late in their day. New series coming soon. This site's dope, shoesvbuys.org. Should be called Shoes Nobody Buys, but they have a mega Christmas sale going on right now that expires soon, up to 80% off. Now come on asshole, we're in June, and if this Christmas sale hasn't ended by now, it's never gonna end, so shut the fuck up. But what about these dope, dope, dope Adidas Yeezy Ultra Boost? Time for some real talk. If Adidas fixed the cage and put these out, I'd cop, not even gonna lie. But there is a rumor floating around that I heard about back in February, maybe January, that there is an Adidas Yeezy Ultra Boost sample, so maybe one day. What do you know about PerfectKicks.me ambition and dream of making a one-to-one -one replica? If you don't know about that, then don't order. That's what he says on his homepage. And because he's worried about imitators, he lets you know he only has one website and two Instagram accounts and the rest are scammers. So holy shit, the irony fuckboyism on this one is so fucking high, where do I start? He wants to make one-to-one -one replicas, so he makes shoes that don't exist. And a guy selling fakes is calling out other people impersonating him as scammers. Congratulations, you're now Captain Shithead. Look at me short. Look at me short. I'm the captain now. We're gonna pop into DH Gate one more time, and this place is the VIP section for douchebags. Now this is more of a public service announcement more than anything else, but I'm seeing a lot of people on YouTube and social media still giving Yeezys the blue light test to see if they're real or fake. Everyone, take note, this was fixed a long time ago. Don't bother using that as a method to legit check. As of right now, I believe you can still put the light on the boost, but from what I've been hearing, the factories are now starting to source actual BASF product, so stay woke. Where should I start with these? Maybe on the double swoosh, maybe on the ridiculously long name 2016 Air Mag, aka Marty McFly Basketball Shoes Back to the Future Glow in the Dark Soul Mag Limited Edition Air Mag Sneaker LED Lights. Or maybe that he lists the feature on these as height increasing because, you know, like any pair of shoes that you put on your feet, it does increase your height. And lastly, these shoes, as outlined in the details, are meant for Father's Day, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, Fool's Day, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, and Easter Day. Man, what the fuck? A lot of you have asked me to check out iOffers, and I had no idea that this kind of foolish behavior existed, but I'm glad I found it. Like, take these for example. For $67, you could pick up a pair of the Air Jordan Retro 7 Marvin the Martian? 
Okay, okay, okay. How about these women Air Jordan 4 retro basketball sneakers? It's a 4 in the Bel Air colorway, and it's bad, it's ugly, and it's horrible. But I love the comments on this one. One person says, The shoes aren't actually like the pick. There is no Jordan symbol, so they really look fake. Yes, dear. It's the fact that they don't have a Jordan symbol that makes these look fake. Not the fact that this shoe doesn't fucking exist, but the truth has arrived. In this case, you get what you pay for, it has uneven stitches, and the colors are paint which have spots. And that's what you get for $33. If you're looking for gear to go with your Jordans missing the Jumpman, you could buy matching apparel. It looks like this Jumpman ate the Jumpman from the Bel Air 4s, but yo, I don't remember MJ ever being a flying fat bastard like depicted on these snapbacks. So yeah, fat bastard MJ on the first four hats, and whoops, he's super skinny and stretched out on the fifth. 4,340 reviews, and 97% of them were good. That's 4,209 idiots who like this crap. The Air Men Kanye West 350 Yeezy Running Boots. So confused in this product name. Air has nothing to do with Adidas or Yeezy, and I don't know what a running boot is. But this is probably the worst fake Yeezy that I've ever seen. And last for today's video, we've looked at 117 images, and we land on the Air Jordan 11 Retro Low Black Gum. I'm pretty sure that the Jumpman on the heel is missing a foot, but when you're the GOAT, shit like that doesn't matter. But again, let's keep it real. If Jordan put these out and maybe fix up the color of that gum bottom, I'd be all over these. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.